Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DC TV show. Today we're going to be talking about Batwoman, and there's some major news that have just been dropped, and I'm behind with Batwoman, and I was really liking the show, I'm just a bit behind. So I was looking forward to continuing watching and catching up, and this major news just dropped out of nowhere. I mean, absolutely nowhere. I want to swear, I want to go crazy, basically I want to say holy S, but you can't swear on YouTube anymore. What the hell is happening? We're going to talk about it all in today's video, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so completely out of nowhere, literally about 5-10 minutes ago, it was just announced that Ruby Rose is no longer playing Batwoman. She is exiting the CW's show. She's exiting Batwoman, and DC is planning to recast for Season 2. Holy crap, what is happening right now? Ruby Rose is not coming back. And so we'll go through the article on Deadline that was released. I'm not sure if it originally came from there or not, but this is some massive news. And it's very shocking because recently they just announced at the CW Upfront or wherever they announced all the new schedules. Basically, they said they're going to do a new crossover and the crossover is going to be between Batwoman and Superman and Lois. And so you're expecting, oh right, it's fine, like Ruby Rose is going to be there, you know, we didn't even hesitate that she would leave. And, you know, I guess there are probably many reasons, I don't know the exact reason as of right now, but we will read out the statement that Ruby put out and the CW put out and everything in a minute. But they were planning that crossover, so did this just come out of nowhere? Or was that crossover thing planned when they found out that Ruby wasn't coming back? I'm presuming they knew about this for the last couple weeks or so, or it could be months, or it could have been literally just out of nowhere just like this week or something, and that's why they announced that, because I don't think they would have announced it if they were planning to recast and they don't even know who they're going to cast as Batwoman for Season 2. But anyway, so going to the Deadline article, let's read this. So they say, this is a shocker, Ruby Rose, the star of the CW's freshman show, Batwoman, is leaving the show which has already been renewed for a second season, and this will continue, but the title role will be recast. So this is a statement from Ruby Rose, so she said this, I have made the very difficult decision to not return to Batwoman next season, Rose said in a statement. She goes on to say this as well, this was not a decision I made lightly as I have the utmost respect for the cast, crew, and everyone involved with the show, both in Vancouver and Los Angeles. So that was her quote. Her statement is very vague. We don't know what happened. Maybe it was something to do with behind the scenes. Maybe it was some of the backlash that the show got initially, and there's still people out there against the show. I don't see why they're against the show, because it's actually a good show. I'm just a bit behind on it, but it gets unnecessary hate, and it's kind of annoying to see that online. So maybe that's part of it. But I think there is something behind the scenes going on, possibly, that has led to actually her being recast and her, you know, making the decision to leave the show is massive. It hasn't happened in God knows how long. Like, obviously, sometimes in films, in the next film, you know, they recast because someone can't show up or anything like that. But, you know, she was actually scheduled to appear. I'm presuming she had like a season long contract. And maybe because her contract ended, she had that choice to continue. And I think once you get past season one, I think you get a contract all the way to season seven, like Grant and Melissa have right now. So I'm presuming she had like a one season contract and she was able to get out of it. And she just maybe wanted to do something different. And I'm just really, really surprised that she's left the role. You know, it's nothing against her or like against the CW or anything, because I think, you know, she's been widely accepted as Batwoman and I really like her as Batwoman. And, you know, she first appeared in the Elseworlds crossover, and then she came into Crisis, and then her show was running by the time of Crisis. So she's had one whole season playing Batwoman. She showed up the year before. She was really committed. She's really, really friendly with all the cast, and also all the other cast members on the Arrowverse shows, especially Melissa. So I'm just kind of surprised that this was a decision that was actually made. So this is another part of her statement and it goes on to say this, I am beyond appreciative of Greg Berlanti, Sarah Schechter and Caroline Dries for not only giving me this incredible opportunity but for welcoming me into the DC universe they have so beautifully created. 
and thank you to Peter Roth and Mark Pedowitz and the teams at Warner Bros and the CW who put so much into the show and always believed in me. Thank you to everyone who made season one a success. I'm truly grateful. So that's what she said in the other part of her statement, which she just put out. And so in a joint statement from Berlanti and his production company and Warner Brothers TV, they reaffirmed their commitment to Batwoman and to casting another LGBTQ actress in the groundbreaking role. So yeah, they have officially said that they're going to be recasting and they are looking for an LGBTQ actress. So that's very cool. They're going for the same thing and I really appreciate that they are sticking to their guns and how they originally casted the show and that's how they're going to recast the show again. And so this is their statement. Warner Bros. Television, the CW and Belanti Productions, thank Ruby for her contributions to the success of our first season and wish her all the best, the two companies said. The studio and the network are firmly committed to Batwoman's second season and long-term future and we, along with the show's talented creative team, look forward to sharing its new direction, including the casting of a new lead actress and member of the LGBTQ community in, in the upcoming months. So that was a statement from the CW, Warner Brothers and Belanti Productions. So it seems like that they are fine with this and they just are thankful for Ruby and her contribution. However, I don't know, I feel like something else has gone on behind the scenes. I don't know what it is, we can speculate, but we won't know until we actually know. One other reason I saw on Twitter could be something to do with, you know, how taxing it is to live in Vancouver all year round and the potential of like seven, six more seasons. I guess that would be a thing where, you know, you might want to ditch out before the end. But, however, we don't know. But anyway, so it seems like something went on behind the scenes and they are now committed and I'm talking about the studio and the network they're committed to Batwoman's second season which was renewed a while ago I think back in like January or something and they're committed to a long-term future obviously within the Arrowverse so that means that whoever gets recast and whoever lands the role as Batwoman is going to be in the crossover and like I said earlier they specifically said it's going to be a member of the LGBTQ community, so that's really good that they're sticking to how they originally cast the show. So what does this mean for the Arrowverse as a whole? This means that in the crossovers, it's not going to be Ruby Rose, it's not going to be that person that we saw in Elseworlds, Crisis, and, you know, potentially we were going to see in that crossover with Superman and Lois, and obviously in her own show as well. So she did one season and she was very good I was very impressed and yes I do have to catch up but I can firmly say that I really like Ruby as Batwoman so it is a big shame in my opinion that she is going but I guess all the luck to her in the future with whatever projects she wants to continue with and just moving back slightly back through this article because I noticed something just now and so we were speculating you know about what could be the reason behind her leave However, this segment says this, so neither Rose nor Batwoman producers would speak to the reasons for the actress's exit so early into the series' life, though some sources indicated that it is not related to the stunt injury she sustained during filming of season 1 which left her facing paralysis and needed emergency surgery. So that's interesting that they noted that, and the fact that they both said, you know, no comment on why she's actually leaving. I guess they just want to keep it ambiguous and they don't want to get into whatever happened behind the scenes. I mean, it could be all smooth. However, it could be, it could have been rocky. Okay, so heading off towards the end of the video. So season two is going to be still coming in January, still going to be the normal night on Sunday. But when we find out about this casting, this person is going to be on the show. This person is going to have to integrate with all the rest of the cast who are still sticking around. None of them are going anywhere as far as I know. So it's going to be a whole new dynamic. I'm not sure if it's going to work perfectly at first, but I reckon over time people are going to get used to it and people are going to like it. Still don't know who they're going to cast, but you know, I'm excited to see whoever that is. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about all of this? Are you excited to see who is going to be cast? Are you upset by the fact that Ruby is leaving the show and won't be Batwoman anymore? And you know, you won't see her in any crossovers or in her own show. So let me know all of that in the comments below. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
I see red. Heartbeat.